I'm Brian Professor B. Davis. This is your St. Mary's Gales West Coast Conference Tournament Central Recap on the SMC TV Network. On Thursday, it was the St. Mary's Gales winning the second game, the opening of the double elimination game against the regular season champion St. Uh, Loyola Marymount Lions in Las Vegas. The Gales coming from behind, winning 4-1, to one, and they came into the eighth inning. The Gales got that, uh, were trailed 1-0 to nothing till the top of the eighth inning. It was by the hot-hitting Coleman Schmidt end up launching a two-run home run. Schmidt ended up uh, hit a two-run home run that put St. Mary's up for good two to one. And then also adding the big insurance, that was the big key of the ball game. He had that big two-run home run. Then Gavin Napier ended up having a big two-run home run that, that pretty much sealed the game for the Gales, they go on to win 4 to nothing. a couple behind win. They take the first two games of this WCC tournament. And let's just look at some of the numbers. Schmidt, uh, Coleman Schmidt, 3 for 4, 2 run home run, run score, 3 RBIs, 6 for 10 in this, in this series, 2 home runs, 7 RBIs. If this, if this tournament ended today, as we're doing this taping, Coleman Schmidt would be my pretty much all but be my unanimous MVP or the outstanding player in this championship tournament. And then also having a great day at the plate. Napier three for five, a home run, a pair of RBIs, and then it was Blake McDonald went three for four. So the st- and then the stat of the day: St. Mary's have now hit six home runs in the first two games of the contest. Three of the six by Coleman Schmidt. And they have now had eight eight extra base hits, six home runs, and two doubles in the first two games of this tournament. So, and then for Sanders, the starter for the Gales, Gales, six innings pitch, four hits, one earned run. He had five strikeouts, did not figure him or the WCC 2023 player pitcher of the year, Diego Barra. Pitch well, did not the figure in the decision. Seven innings pitch, six hits, no runs, walked one with five strikeouts. And then it was the bullpen. It was Adam Enyard, who was the pitcher of record. And then it was uh, John Dizamazino, who ended up getting that save. So let's give you the final totals of the game for the Gales four runs, ten hits, one error. They left seven on base for the Lions of LMU, one run, five hits, no errors. They left eight left on base. The win goes to Adam Inyard. His record, he picks up the win in postseason, 1-0 in this postseason, 4-0 overall for the season. Bob O'Merrick is was the losing pitcher. His record drops. To, he goes to 0-1 in the postseason, overall 5-3. And, and then John Dismazzano got to save his uh, first in this tournament, fourth overall of the season. Home runs, the Gales continue to hit the long ball. It was by Gavin Napier, his first. Schmidt hits his third home run in the last 24, home three homers in the last 24 hours in the two games. And for for, for Schmidt, he is now batting, he is 6 for 10 in this tournament, two home runs, seven RBIs. And then the time of the ball game, two hours and 23 minutes, 1,193 was the was the attendance. So the Gales go to 23 and 26, while the Lions of LMU dropped the 20. The regular season champs now dropped the 29 and 23. The Gales now are in the winners bracket. They will, um, as we do on this tape, but they'll take on the winner of the Portland and Santa Clara game. In the uh, that game, go to SMC. Go, we'll check. Give you the update later on on that. And the the Gales, the Gales will play the winner of that of the Portland Santa Clara game the, for the other half of that game. And the Gales with the win are now halfway there towards that WCC championship. Is now they'll play the winner of that game on Friday. The first pitch in the time of that ball game. We don't know to be determined at this time. 
check on back at WCCSports.com, and we'll, we'll give you the update later on when it's available at press time. So the Gales are now just one victory away from moving into the championship final. All they got to do is win one of two. But you want to try to win on the first try to, to punch your ticket to the championship final to avoid end up having to win twice to be the champion. And the Gales are just uh, now one win away from getting back into the championship final. They'll play the winner of the Santa Clara Portland game. And then the winner of that game will take on St. Mary's, while the loser will take of the, of the game will take on Loyola Marymount in the elimination game coming up. And we'll give you all more information on that when it's developed as we're doing this taping when it's available at press time. The St. Mary's Gales WCC tournament the tournament uh, report has been presented by it's been presented by. University Credit Union. Go visit their website today at ucu.org. That's ucu.org. University of Credit is pres- is the proud partner of St. Mary's Gales Athletics. For the latest news on St. Mary's Gales and so much more, go to smcgales.com and wccsports.com is the latest for West Coast Conference Baseball Tournament Championships in Las Vegas. Once again, the final score on the Thursday, Gales defeat the Loyola Marymount, the, t- the regular season champion, Loyola Marymount Lions, 4-1. to one. Brian Professor B. Davis, thank you for watching this St. Mary's Gales WCC Tournament Central update on the SMC TV television network. <laughs>